Hey guys, it's still Minecraft here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at this thing. Now, this is a uh, Bennett Garboder deck, right? So we're attacking with Bennett GX with Shadow Champ, which does up to 130 damage, which is pretty good. It's Psychic type and it hits weakness against Buzzwall. It's pretty good. Tomb Hunt, it's just Deciduize GX attack. And Shady Move, heal 10 damage from all of your Pokemon, and put 10 damage on all of your opponent's Pokemon. That can do a lot of damage. That can be pretty good. It hits the numbers. Combine this with Garboder with its Trash Lancer ability attack. And then add in Drampa. There you go. You got a viable deck. Because of Garboder's ridiculous ability. So yeah, game one. Alright, here we go. So I'm starting off with the Dawn Wings and the Crossman GX. I'm actually playing it just just like uh, not really for the attack, but mostly for invasion. That way, it does help with shady move, right? Uh, and also, it's a good way to just wall my opponent early game. However, um, it's like, it's just invasion, and I just wall my opponent early game, because otherwise, I don't want to have a shop it in the active, because then, I mean, like, it's nice to get a banette out, but they're going to easily KO shop it. I'm using the 50 HP one for the confusion, because... With the resistance, the fighting has essentially got 70 HP with uh, against a Buzzwool, so uh, I should be fine with that. But Knuckle Impact, though, not Knuckle Impact, Jet Punch will two hit KO on the bench. But the other option is 60 HP. So either way, I'm getting two hit KO'd while on the bench. So the, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just using the Confusion one because I can prevent Buzzwool from attacking. Really anything from attacking, but yeah. Alright, if I get if I get Minette, that would be pretty good. Because I can just use my... Alright, although we will get a Cynthia instead. Alright, so I'm going to Energy. And then Cynthia. That means he will actually... That means I will not actually be able to move my Dawn Wings out of the active. Slightly annoying, but whatever. Still got another turn where I'm safe. Alright, here we go. Alright, so, yeah, it's going to go with a Slash for 40. Alright, so right now I can't really take a knockout. I'm just going to attach a DCE to Drampa and Cynthia. Okay, there we go. Banette. I'm going to put, I'm going to get the non-damaged one because the, uh, because Garchomp can actually do some good damage, right? Although, it's hitting 200, so it doesn't really matter, but I do want to move the damage counts off Shup it. However, using the 50 HP shop, it does mean that Quick Dive will OHKO shop it. So that's annoying. Alright, so. What's he gonna do? I guess. Okay. He, I'm, I'm guessing he's, he's totally gonna go for the Royal Blades knockout. I'm fine with that. Alright, okay. Crushing Hammer Tails. That's, that's fine with me. I could move up Drampa, it's an OHKO, but it is weak to fighting. So we might have the fighting type Garchomp in his deck. I think I'll move up Drampa. I mean, like, he's OHKOing everything in my deck. So, yep. Yep. Our executive decision, moving up Drampa. Meh. Actually. Actually, I got... Eh, nah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with Drampa. Eh, should I touch to... Should I touch the DCE? Now I'm just gonna go with the Lily and then, yeah, there you go. Psychic like energy. Because I don't want to attach four energies to a Drampa. Alright, we've got Ultra Ball, Discard, Ilma, and Garboder. Get a uh, Trubbish. Yeah, I'll go for a Trubbish. Discard Garboder, go for a Trubbish. And we're gonna go with a Berserk for 150. Because the 10 damage on the Shoppa is definitely gonna be good. And next turn, if I want, I can just Ultra the Moon Shady into. Banette, then Shady Move. Right, to get some damage. And then actually, how many supports do I have in the discard? Because that actually can hit numbers. Oh wait, there goes the Garchomp though. Or so, yeah, I'm guessing DCE. Yep, DCE. DCE, Quick Dive, Knockout, Shop It. I probably, turn it, yep. That way, mm-hmm. But a top deck of rainbow energy. So that's pretty good. 
All right, should I, should I, I'm gonna play Trubbish and then, should I Ultra Ball? I mean like, yeah. Get an Ultra Ball, I'm gonna quickly grab a Garboder, no, not a Banette. Because no Banette for now. So my prize is I'm playing a 3-2 line. Should I Guzma? Yeah, nah, nah. With three more energy to take a Berserk Knockout. All right, so let's see. Uh, this game's going pretty well. Got Palpat, okay. Double Cynthia, of course. Then he's gonna play Cynthia. Cause it's still a good draw supporter, even like even in Garchomp decks, you can still just use your Cynthia's because you are playing Palpat generally. I'm just gonna go for a. I'm just gonna go for a KO. Actually, I could go and just. Guzma. Should I Guzma? Mmm. How about how many supports do I have in my discard? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for a berserk. For just for now, right? I could Guzma up the Lucario, but yeah, not now. Okay, okay. Uh I think what should I move up? What should I move up? Bennett? Yeah. I could move up Banette because then I do have a resistance to fighting, so he's doing a very little damage. Oh, wait, okay, Mars, what's he gonna discard? He discarded my Cynthia. Okay, I'm fine with that. Alright, he's gonna get another Gibble in play. Now would be a good time to use my KO Gibble. So I'm gonna Shea move off me because I do not want that damage on me because that's can, that damage is probably gonna build up. All right, and Shao Chan knockout. Oh, wow. <laughs> Weakness 220. Actually, I should, I should probably have done the damage to like Ryolu, because then I can bring it down to 60. Actually, maybe even Gibble for to bring it down to 40. Now it's a two, two hit KO from Trampa's uh, Righteous Edge. But you know what, it doesn't really matter. Actually with Garboder, but he's definitely played a lot of uh, item cards. It's a stage two deck. Stage two decks play a lot of item cards. Oh, there goes the Lucario. Oh, there goes the Lucario. And Cynthia knockout. Wow. Okay. That's big. Oh wait, no. What? You going with a copycat? Okay. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, he doesn't have energy to attack, of course. Yeah, there we go. That'll, that'll do it. And he concedes for game. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's nice. Let's go into our next game now. All right, so starting off with the Trubbish, which is not great, but it does have 70 HP, so that's that's good. All right. Again, I have a Bennett prize. I always get Bennett prize. Oh, do I have a Bennett in my hand? That's a Garboder. Yeah, I have a Bennett prized as always, so I can't go for that double shady move with Alter of the Moon. But that would be pretty nice. Removing two damage counters for myself and adding two damage counters to him. Definitely hits numbers, because Shadow Chant. You're hitting 130 with Shadow Chant generally, right? If you can hit, then you can hit 160 with Choice Band. And with Double shadow, with double Shady Move, that's 180. There goes Tapu Lele. There goes Trampa, ironically. <laughs> Uh, there goes, say, Tapu Bulu. There goes, um, yeah, it's actually a lot of stuff there. Although it doesn't hit 190. If it hit 190, that would be really good. But you could for go for one shady move plus, um, with, with plus a berserk from Drampa, but Drampa's prize right now. I'm gonna move my, I'm gonna move it off me for a shady move. All right, I'm gonna. Should I go for Marania? I'm gonna go for Slugma because I am getting a weakness KO. All right. Oh, oh that's a good prize. Because if I synth, oh, he just concedes for game. Okay, <laughs> there we go. All right, game three. Also, I don't know what what deck was he was playing last game. The other guy was playing last game, I guess, like a Malamar Mag Cargo deck. Double M. I'm getting Acrobike for a nest ball. Double nest balls, that's nice. Get Shuppet. Get other Shuppet. 
Actually, let's take a look through, through here. All right. Nice thing with Bennett, you barely have to play any energy, energy energies. Actually, Rainbow Energy is more like uh, Rainbow Energy is actually more of a uh, trainer card, just to get damage on yourself for a shady move. Sure, there's trying to punishment, but I prefer Ultra the Moon to get the double shady move off and then just use like my opponent's damage and um and just stuff like that, right? In order to get damage on myself. And it is always possible to shady move onto one of my benched and then and retreat into Drampa. Although I will admit, with Bennett I would have preferred if it was just once during your turn, not if you're not if it's your active, just once during your turn. Without a condition. That would have been really good actually. Cause then you could pair it with like Zorwark. I mean like Zorwark Bennett is already a thing, but it'd actually be really good. Cause at that point you can just like not have to always use switch slash guzma slash like all that. And if you have like switches or guzma surprised, that's not as then you know it's not as bad. Well pre rotation it would have been really good because of float stone. But even then, one retreat per turn. Still probably isn't gonna cut it. But attacking with Minette you just have it in the active anyway, so that way it's it's fine. Either way you're hitting for similar damage. The basically only difference really is just the fact that Bennett resists fighting and but it's weak to dark. So it just gets destroyed by Zorwark, but that's what Garbodor's for. This which just Gardevoir destroy Gar Garbodor destroys all the heavy setup decks and Zorwark. Bennett destroys everything else. Same sort of philosophy as Zorwark Garbodor, where Garbodor, or like Zorwark destroys Malamar, Garbodor destroys everything else. That's how Zorwark Garbodor won worlds in Masters Division with Robin Shulls getting Zorwark Garbodor to worlds. Also, same thing with uh, Stefan Ivanov with both SPE Valencia and North American Internationals. Now, I know that's all pre-rotation, right? Where, like, Lycanroc, Dialysis Prism, all that stuff ability locked, especially Malmar ability locked. So, it actually, so actually it was a really good matchup for Robin Shells in the finals of the World Champs. Going again, uh, in the finals of Worlds. But, you know, whatever. Point is, Garbodor counters, Garbodor often counters, like, whatever Bunnett can't. That's actually really good. But yeah. Alright, so I'm going to get to some Polion deck. And he's playing a Lowland Sand Slasher's Draw Engine, which I get it, it's kind of like thematic. But like, pre rotation, why'd people do it? Why'd people do that pre rotation? I mean, like, why not Octillery? It's just objectively better. Or at least I'd say, which is ironic. But like,. It, it's objective. Octillery is objectively better because you can just always draw more cards. Oh, okay, he's going for Empoleon. Yeah, I'm, keep, I'm keeping a, a small bench size, which it's kind of because of I I need to uh, you know not get OH KO'd by Empoleon, but also kind of because I'm not really dra getting a draw sports or or Giru. Honestly, up against Empoleon, just bench every, just do, just be, play benched Pokemon. It's fine because you know it's it's just you can't really afford to uh, have like no bench Pokemon just not set up. Just take the OHKO from Empoleon, or just trash launch your opponents to do just so that they just get wrecked. But yeah, that's basically how you deal with Empoleon, just either trash a land to them with a Garbodor buff, you're not playing Garbodor, in which, in which case, play Garbodor, but, you know, if you're not playing Garbodor, then it's fine to bench stuff. Just take the OHKO from Empoleon and attempt to OHKO it back. Oftentimes, Enhanced Hammer will get rid of Counter Energy. But yeah. 
and often just the Guzma. Uh, just use my alone sense washing to active and start playing more Tapu Koko promo. Promo Tapu Koko with a flying flip is amazing, so play more of it. Use my something big into the active. Get Tapu Koko up. If you want to attack, then just free retreat. But if you but if you want to use flying flip, then just spread. It's actually really good. I've been testing it with Zora Wark Lycan Rock. And helps out a ton, especially against Dusk Man and Cosmic X, which are surprisingly popular where I live. But yeah. How's he doing? Uh, yeah, I know. He concedes. Yay, I win. Alright. So, overall, this deck is pretty great, right? You can do some pretty amazing Drampa, Alter of the Moon, Shady Move plays, right? Uh, Donwings and Cosmic is good to wall. Although this deck does struggle sometimes against Zoroark, but yeah. So anyway, guys, please leave a like, please subscribe, please watch my other videos, and leave a comment down below. These help me a lot. I'm going to get another video soon. But until then, SEL Minecraft out. By the way, this video is sponsored by Northcastle Integration LLC, taking companies and putting them together, integrating them.